Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of Seven. My name's Roland. I'm gonna tell you an issue I had with my boat, just in case you're having the same issues. So what would happen is, I would go out in the lake or the river, and it would fire up, no problem, and I'd ride the boat up the river, and I'd go probably a five minute ride at a good speed, and then when I got onto the lake, I would open it up, and the thing would run great, and then all of a sudden, it would, you could feel it like I was, it was like I was pulling a lot of weight. It started to slow down and it was kind of chug, 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 but it wouldn't slow, it wouldn't shut down. So I didn't know what it was. I eased up on the throttle, put it in neutral and it, it was kind of spittering and sputtering. So I shut it off. And at that point, that was the first time. So I went and checked the bulb. And the bulb didn't seem like it had a lot of pressure on it, but it was all right. And there was water coming out from, you know, when the water circulates through your motor to cool it, the water spits out. It was fine. It was spitting out. So uh, I fired it back up and it ran great for about another three minutes, two minutes. And it started doing the same thing, just chugging and chugging. So I shut it off and fired it back up again and it ran another little ways and I made it all the way back to the boat launch. I loaded it up, brought it home. Well, I was talking to some people and they're saying, this one person was saying, well, maybe it's a cooling problem because when your engine overheats on the boat motors, they're set up to shut down if they overheat. So maybe the impeller wasn't running water through the cooling system, wasn't bringing it into the engine and, and circulating the water through your motor. So I went and got a new impeller and my, your impeller is like a star. It has like six or seven little paddles on it. It's round, it's about this big. And when they're wore out, they'll be all kind of bent over like this because they run around inside of a ring. But when they're wore out, they're really weak. So. Mine only had two prongs that were kind of bent over, not looking that great. But you know what? I changed it anyway. It was a $30 fix. I thought, well, if this is it, no problem. So I, I fixed that, did that repair, took it back out the river. It ran all the way up the river and across the lake. I thought I had my problem solved. All of a sudden, same issue. So I was looking on a forum and they said, first to check your fuel uh, supply from the tank to the motor, or even the tank. Maybe it's your fuel line or the, the squeeze ball. This thing here. So I checked the fuel line, I took the connector off, and everything looked old, right? And I, I didn't want to spend a lot of money going into the motor. I wanted to check other things first. So I cut the line, and I thought, well, I'll just if it's okay, I'll just put the hose back over and I'll clamp it, right? So I cut the line and inside this fuel line, there's another liner and it's like a clear, but I guess with gas, it changes color to like a tan color. So there's a liner inside of this hose and they say that it will break down over time with the heat and old like gas and just fuel sitting in there through the winter months and stuff. And it'll eat away and it'll plug your fuel supply. So I took it off, I looked inside, and sure enough, there was chunks of that liner inside. And you can see the liner that was still there had been, chunks had been missing. So though that was an issue. I thought I got my problem, right? So I went and bought a new fuel line with a ball and everything, the whole, right from the tank to the motor. You can buy it as, as a kit. So I bought that, put it on, try it out again. Same thing. Went all the way up the river out and I'm further on the lake here and I thought, yes, I got this. Well, I was wrong again. It started doing the same thing. So I thought, what could it be? And I checked the ball again, the squeeze ball, and it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, should be, but I'm not sure really how hard it should be. So I thought, you know what, what, what could it be? I got to check the tank. So I checked the, the tank. There's a pickup tube inside this tank underneath the, the gas gauge, or maybe you don't even have a gas gauge. But I thought, you know what? This is an older boat. It used to sit around in the sun a lot, the outside all the time before I owned it. So I thought, I'll 
I'll change, put a brand new tank on it. So that's what I did. I went and bought a new tank. And just a side note, when you buy a new tank, if it's made by Skepter, if your dealer doesn't tell you, there is an adapter so that this, this fits on. This adapter here, it doesn't come with the tank. And if your dealer doesn't tell you, or whoever you buy the tank from, you're going to be going home and, uh, and you're going to be, uh oh, I have no, uh, I have no connector. So now you got to go back and buy another part, which I had to do. So that connector alone was $20, at least from Canada. So now I got the new tank. I have the new fuel, fuel line. And I know it'll run, but will I have that issue again? So what I'm, I've done is I'm looking for a fuel filter on the motor. I took the cowl off and I found the fuel filter. Now apparently there's another fuel filter. There's two. And it's hidden down in here somewhere. I'm going to change the other one because it looks really dirty. I, you can see it's like a plastic cowling around that filter, a cup. And that fuel filter looks disgusting. So I'm going to take it off and put a new fuel filter on. And then we'll go from there. So here's the fuel filter I was talking about. And you can see it's pretty dark in there. So what you do is you just slide this out of this bracket here. And your fuel filter sh should be in your hand. And you can just loosen this. Now what I did is I cut an old Pepsi bottle here. And to catch the gas. So I'll remove the filter and check it out. And I can see right now that my fuel filter is very dirty and I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. See that? That's that's the that's dirt or old gas, but probably part of that liner is in there and I can see it on the filter too. So I think we found our biggest problem here. I ran out and got a filter and like on here I just took the filter off this bowl with the filter inside but they sell this all as one unit now and I'll put a link to where you can get one down below in the description so right now I, I went ahead before I started filming I forgot so there's a couple tie clips um, some plastic ties like this holding the fuel lines onto this unit here so I just cut them off and now I'm removing the fuel lines and you got to make sure you don't get these mixed up too I, I imagine so I marked this one here with a white pencil okay so I attached it from the hoses the fuel lines so now I have to take this off I uh, just used a pair of pliers on the nut take all this off And I'll put this on here. It's just a rubber grommet and some washers so that it can fit and squeeze onto this bracket so it's nice and snug and not floating around. That's all it is. So I'll put it back together. And I'll just snug it up with some pliers here. It's good enough. So this is the new one. And I put on this. And now I'll just hook these lines back up. So I mark this line here, and I'll just put this one back on here like this. And this one on this side. And then I'll put plastic ties on these. Okay, so the new filter is in. And I hook the lines back up, put the ties around here to hold the fuel lines on. So I mentioned the fuel filter that is down here. There's two fuel filters. The one I changed and this one. Um, this one wasn't in stock, so I couldn't get it. But I talked to a mechanic and he said that the fuel goes through that other fuel filter that I just changed. It goes through there first. So that filter would have caught all the stuff all the stuff from the fuel line that went into there. And I asked them straight up, I said, so does the, would this fuel filter get plugged up with any, with any of that stuff that went through and dirt and stuff? And he says, no, it wouldn't have made it through to this other fuel filter. 
but he says you should change that fuel filter if it hasn't been changed in a while. I have I've had this boat about three years, so I've never changed this one. But I thought I'm gonna put this one on and we'll try it. And if it works all good and all, I'm gonna get or I'm gonna order the other fuel filter. And when it's in stock, I'll replace it. So I'll recap really quickly everything I did. So this thing would run. So I'm running it up the river in the lake and it's running good and then it would start to chug and chug and cut out, right? Shut it off and then it would go again. So what I think what was happening with all that fuel pressure going through while you're running, it's causing all that stuff, that, that liner out of the, inside the fuel line that had rotted and broke down, it's causing a plug and it's plugging up. And when you shut it off, all that stuff goes back, right? There's no more pressure. So that's why I was able to run a little further until it all gathered there and plugged again. So I changed the fuel line, brand new fuel line from right from the tank, right to the motor. And I probably didn't need to, but I put a whole new tank or bought a new tank for it as well. So everything is new and the filter as well. And you saw the filter. It was a, it was, it was bad, right? So, I bet you this thing runs good and I'm going to come back, I'm going to take it out on the river, take it for a ride out on the lake, give it a good run and if there's no issues I will come back and tell you and we'll go from there. Hi I'm back from my test ride, um, this is actually the next day, we actually rode the boat up the river around for over an hour last night, we got home kind of late just before dark and I didn't remember I had to finish this video but Yes, the boat is working great now, fixed all the problems, and everything is looking great. So, so if this video helped you, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Let me know if it helped or if you have any questions. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a dime, and it really helps me out, and I'd really appreciate it. So thanks for watching, and have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.